Hey, Valley here for another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I speak about a simple topic, but it's very important. Today I speak about why is it that your fish is stressed. You know, uh, humans within themselves go through moments that is very stressful. Loss of a work, illness, loss of a loved one, divorce, loss of a, uh, you know, something that is really, 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 you are really, really attached to okay fish do have that moment when they are stressed themselves now i keep several fish within my system and i have to be very careful when i'm doing several things with my fish one i have to be very careful when i am actually stuck in my fish uh my fish ponds right as you can see i have several fish ponds laid out here right i don't have a lot of aquariums i have seven and there's only one working right now right uh I use ponds because I think that they are more easier for me personally to manage, right? Keep down my stress level. Okay, why do fish stress? One, fish stress when you actually place an incorrect tank mate within that um, space in which the fish is at. So therefore, if you have, let's say, a goldfish and you place, for some reason, you place a cichlid such as uh, a Jack Dempsey with that goldfish, you'll find that that goldfish will be stressed because that tank mate will be chasing at it to actually um, hit it with its mouth. So that fish will, also, will be stressed, right? Another reason we, why uh, a fish might be stressed, and this is no fault of yours, uh, sometimes is the falling temperature. Now, whenever, uh, for example, right now, we had a lot of rain yesterday, so the place is very wet right and a lot of the ponds got some rainwater it's good for them right but with the rainwater comes with a, a, a decrease in temperature because you know i live in the tropics i live in jamaica the caribbean which experience a tropical marine climate right so uh these fish outside they have varying temperature depends on the the the, the climate the temperature of the day outside the sun uh the, the wind and the rainfall so therefore whenever the temperature actually suddenly drop the fish goes through a, a stressful moment whilst you might not regard this stressful moment as one moment that the fish will actually die from but uh too much too much variation can lead to illness such as ick and other diseases right because stress actually brings on illness on your fish okay uh, so the, the, the variation in temperature and that's one of the reasons why some persons actually use what you call uh, aquarium you know heater right so as to ensure that the aquarium actually have the same temperature regardless of the external temperature within the space in which the aquarium is at okay so that is two ways in which your fish um actually stress okay and uh, this sounds funny but uh your fish is stressed whenever you change water whenever you change water it comes back to the second reason why fish is stressed whenever you change water like it or not the water temperature varies a little bit also uh the fish tend to you know feel a little bit more stressful um going through that moment thus uh, you have been advised not to feed your fish exactly after water change uh, you change you, you, uh, you, you feed the fish before water change or a couple hours after water change because if you feed the fish right after water change the fish will not consume the food and the food will end up um pollute the, the that's water something that you should be very careful of another reason why uh your fish might be stressed is when you're actually catching the fish to actually transfer from one container to the next like me or uh, from one aquarium to the next chasing the fish around in the net right is a stressful moment for the fish right the fish hard fish fish body goes through an impulsive moment where it's just trying to get away from you as a result of that the fish is stressed right so um as best as possible try to see if you can net the fish without chasing it all around if you're trying to catch the fish and the fish is not really beckoning to you coming into the net leave it alone wait until an opportunity moment then now you go at that fish right okay another reason why a fish might be stressed within your aquarium this is funny guys is when the fish is actually um 
giving birth, if it's a life bearer. If it's a life bearer, fish goes to tremendous stress. And sometimes this stressful moment might lead to the fish death. I've seen a lot of life bearers in which I have had uh, in a separate aquarium I call breeder aquarium or breeder pond system. And these life bearers, after giving birth to 30, 40 flies, um, within a couple of hours, the life bearers are just dead. Right? It's a stressful moment. Also, another stressful moment is number five. I'm giving you five. Right? Probably in the future, I'll give you more. Another stressful moment for a fish is the fish defending its young. The fish actually defending its egg or its nest. It's a really stressful moment, especially I've seen in my um, my convict cichlid um, my, my convict cichlid pond, where in which uh, my convict cichlids they have fries. I don't know why they have fries in in that um, you know in that community. Not really community, but in that species only pond. They have a lot of convicts. In, I have a lot of convicts in there, right? And the convicts actually lay eggs, and the fries are swimming at the bottom. And the adults, the, the other adults, other aquarium fish that exist in there, you know, convict cichlid pond. They are trying to get a one or two of those fries, and it's really stressful for them to actually be defending the fries. And at the same time, sometimes food is there, and uh, one might leave and go, go for the food, while the other one stays and tries to defend. But if by chance, two of them actually go up for the food one time, you find that when they come back, it's like it's a stressful moment because the, the others in the, in, the, in, the, in the space actually heading for the fries to actually consume them, right? It's like they don't really care. Once they can fit in them out, they consume it. So here, guys, are five reasons why your fish might be stressed. So, you want to limit the stress that your fish goes under because the more stress your fish go under is the more prone it is to illness and, you know, yeah, a situation happens. Situation happens like fish might die, fish might jump, fish might bite you, fish might hide, right? These are some of the consequences of a stressed fish, right? And final one, fish might die. Peace out. Catch you next time.